Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. I am getting ready for my day and I have a fun day ahead of me, which is why I thought I would vlog, but I'm gonna be meeting Risa of Risa Does Makeup and Samantha March on the strip to go shopping later. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm gonna vlog it for sure. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I don't think, of course, none of us need anything, but we we just wanted to, you know, hang out and just do something fun. You know, things have started to calm down here in Vegas. Like the numbers are dropping. Thank goodness. The COVID numbers I'm referring to have been dropping. We still have to wear a mask indoors, which is fine, but we just thought we would do something that, you know, resembled a little bit of normalcy. So we were like, let's go shopping. Let's just do it. I think Samantha actually is looking for shoes. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so I'm just getting ready for the day and I want to kind of do my hair with you guys because I've been doing something different and some of you have been asking me what I've been doing different because my hair has looked different in some of my more recent videos. Um, so I wanted to do that, but I did want to mention um, an eye cream that I have been using for at least the past month and I've really been enjoying. This is the new Cora Organics very bright vitamin C eye cream. And this video is so kindly sponsored by Cora Organics. So thank you so, so much. But this eye cream has been really, really wonderful. Um, I did want to point out that not only is this jar that it comes in so pretty, look at that top, but it's refillable. So it has one of those uh, like jar inside of jar packages so you like twist it to undo it and you can just buy the refill and then you sit it back in and then you twist it to lock it in place. So I think that's incredible. The um, price on the eye cream is $54 for the whole thing and then the refill is $44. And it's been available now I think for about, I don't know, maybe about a week. And it is definitely available at Sephora. So I did just want to show you my under eyes. So I have very um, sensitive skin. I have dry eczema prone skin and it's very, very sensitive. So I asked Cora Organics if I could test out this product um, first and of course they said yes. So I've been using this for over a month and it is wonderful. I just feel like my under eyes look more awake. I feel like I haven't had to use concealer as much as I felt like I did before. Now my under eye area Right around here, I have a little bit of darkness, and then all over, I feel like I have like more of like a sallowy, kind of like yellow green based discoloration kind of all over my eyes. And I see such a huge difference using this eye cream. I feel like the tone of my skin overall has been evened out, has been brightened, and the actual skin is like super smooth. My fine lines and wrinkles are definitely going away, but I really feel like I see the brightening effect of this eye cream. So I just dab a little bit underneath both of my eyes every morning, and this is a certified organic brightening and nutrient rich eye cream that uses an active 5.5% vitamin C blend to target the appearance of aging for firmer, more youthful looking skin around the eye area. And Cora Organics being an organic brand, they don't use any GMOs, no artificial colors, no artificial fragrance, they're cruelty free, powerful certified organic ingredients, certified organic by Cosmos, and they're climate neutral. So there's four call out ingredients, kangaroo pawflower, which helps strengthen the skin around the eyes, Kakadu plum, which is a superfruit known to contain the world's richest natural source of vitamin C, cloudberry, which is a rich source of vitamin C and E, and red ginseng, which really helps to minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And my under eyes really look quite lovely. This has such a nice texture. It is, you know, a little bit on the richer side in terms of uh, a lotion, but maybe a little bit on the lighter side in terms of cream. And I really like that because it, it just melts right into the under eye. So it's not like sitting on top and it's something I really enjoy using during the day. It does melt right in. I can put other skincare on top, like my moisturizer and my SPF, and I don't feel like, you know, like it's interfering with anything. And then makeup goes on beautifully on top. So I really love this eye cream. It has been such a joy to use. And uh, I can't get over the, how pretty this jar is. It looks so, wonderful sitting on my bathroom counter. So big thank you to Cora Organics again for sponsoring this video. And I couldn't love this very bright vitamin C eye cream 
any more than I do. I think it's really done wonders for my under eye skin. All right, so for my hair, uh, I haven't been putting anything in it. I haven't been drying it. And what I like to do, and my hair does have like a, a slight wave in it. That's just natural wave. I don't, I don't know where that comes from, but it has a little bit of wave. And so what I've been doing is taking my GHD Rise um, and just putting like, just kind of accenting this natural wave. I was trying my Dyson Airwrap because I love that thing, um, but that like curls your hair so quickly that I was getting more than just a wave. I was getting like a curl and I really wanted something more subtle and I feel like I have that with this GHD Rise. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy on. All right, so I'm just gonna take a chunk of my hair. This is not an exact science. And I don't even usually have that much time to play with my hair. So I'm just gonna kind of run it through. Kind of leave it at the end just a little bit longer and then brush it through. And then I just have this really soft wave and I even pull it just to make it a little bit straighter. And then I basically just do this to the front of my hair. And because the wave is so soft, it really just kind of flows right into the back of my hair. I don't feel like I even have to curl it. So I definitely want the hair closer to the back of my hair to be less curled than the front because I want that seamless blend into the hair that I'm not gonna bother curling. So that's it, that's all I've been doing. I do like three pretty big chunks and then it just kind of blends into the back of my hair. And I think because it's air dried and it doesn't look too straight or slick, it just blends really easily. And that's it, voila, could not be faster. I just, I don't have the time and the patience, at least not every morning, and I do like to wash my hair pretty much every day. I just, I don't have the patience to do it. Um, but I do feel like when I put a little bit of wave on it, it does look a lot nicer. And then at this point, I just kind of assess, sometimes if my hair is looking a little bit dry, I'll put a little bit of oil in the ends. I think it looks okay today. Or if I feel like I want it to look a little bit more second day hair, a little piecier, I'll put some hair cream in it. But actually today, I think it looks okay. So I'm just gonna go on with my day. Um, I am not gonna wear this caftan to go shopping because it's actually kind of cool today. I don't know if you can, no, you can't tell. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't know if you can see through the window, but it's like totally overcast here today, which is my favorite kind of weather. Um, but it is making it kind of cool. Sorry, I have hair on my face, where is it? But it is making it kind of cool here in Vegas and I just feel like they probably have the AC blasting still. So I may put on just, I don't know, like a blouse or something. All right, here is my final look. I don't how do fashion bloggers do this? I can never get my entire body in. Well, I guess my feet don't matter. Um, but this is that super long H&M shirt that I got. I was just gonna leave it completely untucked, but it looked like a little too much. So I tucked in one side. I don't know, I see the kids doing this. Does that look dumb? Probably. Anyway, we'll see how long this lasts. It'll probably fall out anyway. But um, these are some super old jeans from J Brand, which I don't even think uh, is around anymore. So that's how old they are. And I've got my chunky curb chain on and then a really long gold chain as well. So that's it. This is the vibe I'm giving today. I'm gonna throw on my Birkenstock sandals. I was gonna put on a pair of boots, but I'm like, that's, that's pushing it. It's not that <laughs> chilly here in Vegas yet. Before I meet the girls on the strip, I am gonna actually make myself some lunch here. So I'm gonna make some shrimp. All right, so I have this on medium high, medium low. Where does this? Medium high. <laughs> and I'm putting in about a table, no, about a teaspoon of ghee. I'm gonna let that liquefy. And then I'm just taking some organic minced garlic, throwing that in. Then I'm gonna just add the shrimp. Okay. 
little pepper. I'm going to add some parsley. And a little bit of basil. And then once I see they're pretty much done, I just add a little bit of lemon juice. All right, doing one last check before I get in the car and head on out to meet up with Risa and Samantha. So I decided on the Chanel 19 bag. I thought the chunky gold chain would actually go well with my chunky gold chain. <laughs> Ladies, do we want to start at Dior? You can start at Dior. So we're gonna hit Dior, yep. and then you look so cute. Thanks. I know. Are those like you have like trousers on? I know. Look slacks. At me. Look at me. You have slacks on. I have real clothes on. <laughs> so I was in Zara, and I tried on two super cute dresses, and that never happens to me. Okay. Like they're always like nothing ever fits me right at Zara, but yeah. I tried on two super cute dresses. I walk out, and the line to purchase is like. Miles. You're kidding! It's like, oh hell no. So they have this thing on their app where you can scan the tag okay. and it adds it to your bag. Like, oh. for sure. I'm like, I'm not waiting in line. I don't have time for this. Yeah. Like, I'm ordering it and having it. Wow, yeah. that's intense for Zara. Boots to try on for for Louis Vuitton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're way too big. Oh, um, yeah, way too big. What if you wore like tube socks? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wonder if they could get them in.
spicy. Ooh, I love that. Tell us. Yes, we're super, super like that. But we can always. Wait, can I use your chocolate? Yeah. How cute. show here. <laughs> She's working it. <laughs> so we're at Fendi right now. We lost Samantha. Samantha had to go. She had plans this evening. She always has plans. She always has plans. <laughs> She's very social, that one. Anyway, so Reese and I thought we'd hit Fendi. We hit, where did we go? Prada. I don't think I took any footage in Prada. Sorry. We didn't get anything there. But Risa is now deciding on this poncho. I think it's really cute. I think it's I the right. The <laughs> it's the right length. I know. It's got a little hood. Look at this hood in the back. So cute. And I did end up getting something here, so I will have to show you guys my little haul when I get home. Yeah. Watch my bag. Look at that huge <laughs> Tom Ford bag. bag ever. Oh, that's <laughs> happiness in a bag. <laughs> we have a restaurant. Hello, friends. I am on my way home from hanging out with Risa and Samantha. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. And I think the two of them outshopped me, which is rare. <laughs> but it made me so happy to say, oh. Sorry, there's a car next to me that has New York plates, which always makes me homesick. Yes, they outshopped me, so. Oh, it was a good time. A good time was had. It felt like something we all just needed to do, and it was so nice, and you know, we were still wearing our masks, but it felt a little bit more normal, you know? The mall was, I wouldn't say it was like packed, but you know, there was, there was a lot of people around, so it was, it was nice, it was just nice, and, Risa wanted to get dinner, but I just, I didn't plan on it. I would have loved to have stayed out and had dinner with her, but it wasn't in the plan today. Um, but, and I'll be vlogging this as well. This will be a different vlog though, otherwise this will be way too long. Um, but I am having a YouTube, a YouTube gathering at my house on Saturday. So I'm gonna be cooking some food, making some dessert, all of which I'm not gonna be eating, which is okay, I just love cooking and baking. And I'm gonna be having Risa and Samantha over and Lori, Lori Hill, she's got a YouTube channel, and Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. So we're all gonna hang out Saturday at my house. I don't, Samantha has seen my house and Lori has seen my house. Lori actually, we're in the, like kind of like the same neighborhood. Um, but Annette and Risa have not made it over yet, so um, yeah, we're gonna be celebrating Annette's um, collab. Wow, <laughs> lost for words. Um, Annette's collab with Odin's Eye. She came out with a gorgeous eyeshadow palette. I actually just got it um, in the mail today and I actually put it up on my Instagram stories. I don't know if you guys caught that. But it's a gorgeous palette. It's like perfect for fall. It's like, kind of has like spooky vibes. Um, so we're celebrating that. It was Lori's birthday earlier, um, like last week or yeah, maybe just last week. And then my birthday, which was, you know, a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, Samantha's collab with Sigma, just all the good things. So very, very excited, but that's happening Saturday night and I will 
Um, I'll vlog my cooking. I'll let you know what my menu is and everything. I have not solidified it yet. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm making. Anyway, I cannot wait to get home and show you guys what I ended up getting. I'm so excited. I was on the hunt. I didn't realize it, but I was on the hunt for black boots. Just real chunky lug sole boots. And I tried a bunch out and my issue is I have very large calves. You guys have probably noticed that in my videos where I'm working out or whatever. I have big calves. It's like the Asian curse. I've got big calves. I also ran a lot. They got even bigger. So yeah, I just have really big calves. Anyway, a lot of the boots, like ankle, ankle boots are like a little bit higher than ankle boots, which I think look amazing if you have super skinny legs. If you don't, it cuts into your calf. So I tried a pair on at Bottega Veneta. They were too high. I tried on a pair of Prada. Those, those were okay. They were like close, close to being too high. The, the sole, I don't know, the sole was almost a little bit too chunky and I was looking for a chunky sole, but these were almost a little bit too much. Um, but I found the most perfect pair at Fendi and they're perfect in the way they look, yes, but they're really comfortable. I can't, I can't wait to show you guys. Really comfortable. Like the insides have... I don't know, they almost feel like memory foam. As soon as I put my foot in there, I was like, oh, I was like, these are the ones. Oh my God. So, so excited. I love, love finding like shoes that I was looking for and they end up being comfortable. Oh my God. It's like the skies open and angels start to sing. Let me get on home eat some dinner and I will show you what I ended up getting today. Hey guys, it's the next day. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to haul for you what I purchased, but it was actually whatever. It was like it was too dark and I ate dinner, blah, blah, blah. So it is the next day. It is sunny out. So we have some nice lighting and I wanted to show you the two things that I got. So I got something at Hermes and then I got something at Fendi. First, let me show you what I got at Hermes. By the size of this bag, you can probably guess what it is. I have been wanting this colorway for quite some time now. And I have a couple of these, but I wanted this beige enamel palladium H bangle. Isn't that so pretty? So as you know, I was with Risa and Samantha and I walked into Hermes and I was like, can I try that on? I wanna try that one on. And Risa was like, ooh, I kind of like that. I wonder if they have it in gold. And the woman was like, yes, we do. So Risa got this one, same size. Um, I, I think actually the smaller um, circumference. I got the larger circumference. She got the beige enamel and the gold hardware. And then Samantha got the beige enamel with rose gold hardware, but like the thinner one. Let me take off this protective plastic here. So satisfying. So here is the bangle. I love it. There's something about this combo, the palladium and this beige enamel that I really, really like. And I have a few pieces of clothing in this color and every time I put gold um, jewelry with it, I'm like, I wish I had white gold or you know silver, just something um, cooler toned to go with it. So I really, really enjoy this. I'm gonna have to find a necklace and some earrings in like the silver tone. Yeah, and I tried on the smaller circumference one because I've always wondered if I would like that better because this goes not super far down my wrist because I have pretty big forearms. But, um, you know, the, the smaller one pretty much stayed right up here. And so I guess some would consider that a better fit, but I really didn't like that. It felt a little like constricting. I like, because the bangle is so hard and this one is thick. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, that I like that it moves a little bit, that there's a little bit of room in there. I feel like I'm slowly collecting all of them. I have the Palladium Hardware Thin Bangle with the yellow enamel, and then I have the same size in the rose gold and the black. And of course, when I was there, I saw like the orange. I'm like, oh, one day I want the orange. Whatever, I feel like I'm slowly collecting all of these bangles, but that is what I picked up at Hermes. And then, what I got at Fendi. I don't think I realized I was looking for black boots. And I walked into Prada, tried on a pair of their like combat boots. 
didn't really like them. Like the soles were a little bit too chunky. I tried on a pair at Bottega Veneta. They were a little bit too tall. I was really striking out. I was thinking about a pair at Valentino, but they were really heavy. So I was so glad we stopped at Defendi, which was like the last store that we went into. And I actually went in there looking for the Fendi first bag because I've been eyeing it. And of course I've taken way too long because it's sold out everywhere now, but apparently my um, sales associate at Fendi, Leo, she's gonna give me a call when they come back into stock. So that was why I went into Fendi, but I was like, let me take a look at their shoes. I don't know if they had any black boots. They sure did. Oh, each one has its own dust bag, which is really nice, especially for travel. Let me just take out one and then I will model these for you. But here they are. I love these so much. They have the double F logo around the back of the heel. And so they're, you know, a chunky lug sole boot, but there's a lot out there. Like the Prada ones I tried on, where the lug sole is really exaggerated. It's almost like hard to walk in. Um, these are just chunky, you know, they're chunky, but they're not too crazy. Like they don't stick out or, you know, like come far out off the toe or anything like that. And I really like that it has a tab and the elastic, um, like the, are these like jodhpur boots? I think jodhpur style. Um, I really love them, but the clincher, and I wish you guys could experience this <laughs> through the camera, but once I put my foot in here, the insoles of the boot, they almost feel like they're memory foam. Like they're so comfortable and so cushy. I just fell in love. As soon as I put my first foot in there, I was like, these are the ones. And even Risa was like, these are my favorite ones that you've tried on so far. So that sealed the deal. And, and I love this like matte leather. Like they look like they're rubber, but they're leather. But let me go ahead and put these on so you can see what they look like on me. Okay, so here they are straight on profile. Oh my God, I love them so much. And I'm seeing on Instagram, all of these young cute girls wearing these like thicker lug sole boots or like combat boot style boots with like really feminine, you know, flowy dresses. And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I don't think I would ever do that. Um, but yeah, I'm loving like the versatility of these boots these days. And then there is the back. So that is what I got on my little shopping trip. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning into this vlog and a big thank you to Cora Organics for sponsoring the first portion of this video. And I will see you guys really soon.